You know it's almost like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. And yeah, beside having a controller, some overall specifications, what kind of emulators would brew on, but this thing has 10 different kind of emulators. But let's do a quick view inside the package itself. The controllers are nothing like the PlayStation 5. Do have some similarities when it comes to the form factor. They just love doing these things. But I can tell you the form factor when you're holding it, it's not bad at all. It doesn't come with the rumble function whatsoever. It's really cheap to the cheap. The controls are not bad at all where we're having very nice triggers and yeah, overall nice feel. The only downside I already noticed is that you can just look at it. My button on this controller having some sticky... Okay, wait. Look at this, how this moves. This is like some wiggly trigger buttons. But yeah, that's what you're having with these cheap China things sometimes. Another thing I want to check out is the PlayStation list. I'm trying to get into the PlayStation list. It seems to be not showing a PlayStation list, but... It shows something completely different. Here are all the Metal Slug games. It says there are PlayStation games, but there are no PlayStation games at all. So, I don't know what's going on over here, but... Or the system is messed up. It doesn't even matter. Because it's all messed up. What we can do is try to search for Tekken. That's one of those games that they... That they're on here. Let's check it out. Ah! We do have a game. Okay. Let's check it out. First of all, let's see how the loading times are with this. Because I've noticed with Arcade it's very long. Okay. Let's quickly. Nicely. And... They have no background music. You can already hear cracking noise. So that is not like it's supposed to be. And let's boot up into the gameplay and actually see how good it is or how bad. Yeah, you can just already hear it. The announcer. And also this part is completely messed up. So when it comes to PlayStation, this is absolutely unplayable. Oh man. This is really bad. So at this point, I do wonder what is up with this 4K GameStick Pro. I, at this point, I cannot really say anything good about it. Let's open it up. Let's rip it apart. So, yeah. So this actually, the shell itself, the SD card that didn't, win, didn't want to go him out. Oh, we do have a brand. It's called CH. <laughs> it's better than no brand at all. But let's take a close look at the chip. Ah, they're running the Rock chip 3032. So when it comes to this particular chip, hmm, okay. So let's be clear about one thing. I think, especially when looking at the 8-bit and 60-bit stuff, that doesn't need to be like running that in very overall bad, oh, let's say, condition. This is just a very bad configuration of emulators, in my opinion. My monitor over here is a great example. And I mean, if you just want to plug it in, it doesn't go in all of the way. So we are going to be needing to use the extension cord. I'm happy that you're going to be implementing this in every single, or at least so far, you know, every single game stick situation. So for me, it's also a double feeling because this is not actually a stick anymore. It's just a game console that's just dangling around. The next thing that we need to do is plug in the USB cable. Take consideration if you have problems booting up or freezing, it's highly possible that your television doesn't give enough juice. I do have myself the USB port over here. So let's plug that one in. The next thing that we need to do is plug this thing in the back. And I am ready to go. So when I'm turning on my television, it automatically boot up into the GameStation Pro. Okay, so let's remove the adapter. Let's plug in the normal USB because it doesn't boot up. Unfortunate, it does have problem when it comes to the USB power from the television. So let's give it another attempt with a new 5 volt charger. And now everything needs to be connected properly. HDMI, and now it needs to be booting up. But one thing I want to be clear about is the controller itself. I already did a quick unboxing, but after playing it with it some time, this thing is really horrible. I already mentioned that this trigger is like wiggly. That's such a weird experience. But the D-pad, also this is the same flimsy D-pad. I also noticed when tapping it, it doesn't really even like get any input out every single time. You need to press it really hard. We have seen it with the PlayStation 2 portables back in the day. Oh man, this controller is absolutely trash. 
But okay, so let's take a close look at the menu and what can we actually play. So to begin with, there's all kinds of different systems that we can actually like boot up. And there is a lot of compatibility. Take consideration when it comes to different game sticks, there is not a lot of difference over here. And for example, we don't have any Sega Dreamcast, we don't have any, let's say, Sega Saturn. Something we do find when it comes to different sticks. So another thing is pressing start. Here we're having a very limited menu. So we're only having sound settings and we're having, I'm pressing the wrong button again, Urgh. enable navigation sounds. That is something we can turn off. That's something I'm absolutely going to be turning off. And for the information, that's it. Version number, there is nothing else we can do with this. So that's absolutely a bummer in my opinion. So when it comes to compatibility, we're going to have the PlayStation 1 testing. And on the, the other side of it, is with PlayStation Portable, we know N64, those systems will not run perfectly. But when you're also looking at the menu, we're having favorites, arcade. There is no video whatsoever, just a picture of the current game you're being on. Next up, what we can do is hold the A button for the game options. So we do have this option sometimes. If it's going to be even having this option, because pressing A will automatically boot up. So I think they have a brave art over there where I bought it from. Yeah. Or there was actually nothing happening now because it's just being saying loading and nothing happens. Yeah, okay. Let's give this thing a reset. But after some messing around, I realized that I needed to re enter the SD card because it didn't work. Okay, controller has been configured, everything, battery has been slapped in this thing. So let's get the show on the road. But in, I just wanted to point out, it took forever to actually boot up into the game. It's just the main game. Don't know why it took so long. Maybe the slow SD card. Pressing select and start, what actually happens is that it will freeze the game. And after like a couple of seconds, we have the option to make a quick load and then quick save. But with quick save, that's the only thing actually. We don't have any slots whatsoever and here we can quit. There's no S-Pass ratio. We're just seeing that we're having just limited menu every single freaking where you're looking at. The other features we're having, pressing cross, we're having the favorite list. We can just do that fairly easy. Going out of here, we're making a favorite list and when we're going to the huge favorite list, here we find the same game. So I think it's a pretty damn cool option and you can just make your own collection and just play them from there because in the end, there are always like favorite games that you personally want to play. So let's say we want to have play a PC Engine game, you want to search for something, repressing now the Y button. But the Y button, let's say we're searching the Jackie Chan game. So let's put in a part of the name and let's search. And here you can actually see it works pretty well. So this is actually what we're getting when it comes to the overall menu. It's very limited, but it's just, I think the idea behind is that we can just plug and play and don't mess around with the settings whatsoever. But let's boot up into the games and let's see how long are the loading times. Yeah, that's a little bit faster. Nice. So first off, let's start with some PC Engine. And of course, my favorite game to play is Jackie Chan. Take consideration, there is no way of checking, that's just messing with the emulator if you have any problems whatsoever. But this game stick is basically like focused on the 8-bit and 60-bit era-ish 32 way with the PlayStation 1. But when it comes to the naming, this thing is called the Pro Edition, but I have no idea why this thing is called Pro, because there was nothing Pro about it. This is a great example, just booting up the first game. I don't know what's going on with the audio. It's completely messed up. Wow. This is absolutely ridiculous. I've been setting the volume to like, so it was 30, 40, whatever. It's not even coming out of the speakers. And this is what I mean, that he completely dropped the ball with some 8-bit conf configuration and the emulator, but there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Okay, so Game Boy Advance, but wow, you can just hear the crackling noise and the slowdowns in the main menu when choosing a character. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> There's no pro about it. It really sucks. Oh, yeah, this is really bad. Oh, oh, oh. Let's move on to the 16-bit era and let's check out if they mess up this emulator too. Okay, oh, hey, that seems to be working fine. 
Okay, so far so good. Let's check out, let's get into the game itself. No, there's no weird thing going on. Okay, all the audios are here. Oh, yep. I can hear the slowdowns. There I can just see the and hear the slowdowns. There we go. Oh yeah. They also messed up this part too. Okay, so when it comes to certain emulators, we don't have an overall good experience. So let's see if we're going to have better experience with the arcade part of it. So first off, let's start with some Neo Geo. Breakers, one of my favorite fighting games. And where the D-pad feels pretty awful. There's absolutely horrible input. So when you're pressing up and left, they were having a good overall, let's say, input. But when you were trying to be from the zone part to the right, nope, it's not possible to do anything over here. So the input has some random things going on over here. Ah, oh, I did an, I did exactly, wow, I did a move. It's absolutely freaking miracle. <laughs> 